In this video, we're going to focus on square tiles in the canvas. And basically, what we're really doing here is we're going to use and exercise the knowledge from the previous video. What I want to do here is to create like a square, and beside this square, I want to put another square, which would be a different color, and then we're going to uh, to make a sequence of it. So, in, for example, here we will have white, and then we have black, and we have white, black, white, black, like a checkers board. So. To do this, there's basically two ways. We can just make multiple shapes with the colors and put them in co code. Or what we could do as well is use this background color to our advantage to reduce the amount of shapes we have. All right. So to do this, let's start with the basics. First of all, we're going to do the following. We're going to say here, I want to create a very simple shape. So we're going to say here, ctx.fill style. And this fill style, I'm going to say this will be color white. And next, what I want to do here is I want to say fill or ctx dot fill rectangle, and I'm going to put in the shape. And so for our case, it would make sense. We will just put in here. Uh, this is the x and y. So I'm going to say here zero comma zero, and then I will say here 100 by 100. And this 100 by 100 will be very consistent. So now, if I save this, we should have here a first shape. All right. So what we could do next is basically the following. Let's make this a little bit more softer white. Uh, let's make this this triple C. All right. So that's a little bit grayish, that's slightly better. So what I want to do here is the following. I want to put in here another item. But we could say here this would be black, and the black would be just zero. And then, uh, well, or we're going to move it 100 pixels to the left side. And then here, we will move it in height. So we maintain it if we save it and refresh. All right, so I'm not sure if we see anything, but if we make this maybe red, let's say here, uh, color red, that would be maybe better exercise, or yellow. There you are. So you can see this one works here. And then if we would do them all side by side again and again, that will work fine. However, I want to do the black one. If we do black, like this, here nothing really changes. And then what we have to do again is basically this. And then what I want to do here is, well, exactly the same, except this will be now 200. If we keep on doing this, eventually we will have many shapes. But what I want to do now is to do it a bit more clever. Why would we even have black here if our background is black? Well, first of all, we could remove this. We could remove this, or what we could do as well is to, uh, to use a clear path, or clear, not clear path, sorry. So we're going to use a clear rectangle, where we can indicate, for example, clear rectangle. Then we just say which part we want to clear out. So we can do here 100 this, by that, where we refresh it, all right. So you don't see this yet. And the reason why we don't see it now is just simply for one reason, one reason only, we have this black. If I make this red, you can see here now it becomes red, although it's really bright red, so I want to put it back to black. That's a bit more softer for your eyes. Save, refresh. All right. So you can see it just transparent everything. So we could just skip this, of course, or we could just make one big rectangle here that will cover everything and then just clear out the specific ones, although it's exactly the same. So... What we can do then is the following. So let's look at it, what we need to do here. So we have all of this here. And uh, what we could do, well, let's do that one. We can do just a full width. So what I want to do here now is I want to grab here the canvas width and the canvas height. Let's play around with that. And I'm going to make this uh, here. And then the height, set this on here. There we are. All right, so now we have this. And now, basically, all we need to do here is to do a clear rectangle on the specific location. So if I do this, all right, so we have to calculate this will be not 200, it will be 300 probably. There you are. And let's continue on with this. So you can see here now we have this, that, and this. We can say here 500, 700, 900. If I save that. There we are, and of course we could keep on going, but that's all right for now. Most important part is to understand methods you have. You can use it with clear width. Of course, if the background 
needs to be a different color or there's a different color then some of these tricks are not always possible so you have to check what is suitable and what you can do because with this you can do really nice very short codes it's basically like a function when you make a normal function with everything in there of a shape this is very similar and then only except now it just clears out every item here nicely and that's basically what we did